welcome to Parkersburg, West Virginia, home of the League Room. This is a fabulous place to practice, fabulous place to pray, play. <laughs> I guess you can pray here too if you want to. Um, and great people, great service, great people, and great hamburgers. It's called the 272. And what I'm going to do is hit this cue ball to this number two diamond, down to the number seven diamond, back to the number two diamond, and back to the center of the table. When I was filming this in Russia, the after I got done filming it, the film crew came down and wanted to try it. And some of them were getting to the center of the table, but they were hitting down here. And they were coming out to the center of the table, and they were arguing with me, well, that's okay, but it's not. They had perfect speed, but they didn't have perfect stroke. Perfect stroke brings you here. Now, if you're going to do any kicking down the road, you have to do it with perfect stroke, because perfect stroke is what connects your track lines. So let's see if we can establish perfect speed and perfect strokes. I'm going to hit the number two diamond back to the center of the table. Now, I went a couple inches too far, and that's not bad. You draw a circle in the middle of your table, and you go around and you land in that circle. In my basement, and I spent three years in my basement trying to learn how to be a pool player. My theory was I didn't want to go out, play pool, and lose. I wanted to go out, play pool, and win. So I stayed in my basement for three years. And I did this over and over and over again until I could put that cue ball in a little circle 10, 12, 15 times in a row. I'm going to ask you to make a circle in the middle of your table. You can do it with little dots or whatever you want. And I want you in that circle eight times in a row. How's that? Eight times in a row. And do it every day. Do your two seven twos every day. Go to a pool hall. You want to check their rails? Do a two seven two. You can check their rails. See, these, these rails are perfect. This table's perfect. It's just a little tough. So what do I do with 272? When we establish that you have perfect speed and perfect stroke, what do we do with that? What I did is I researched and found five shots that you will face over and over and over again just about in every single rack you shoot. So I thought, why not use perfect speed and perfect stroke on those five shots? If you're using perfect speed and perfect stroke, you're going to make more balls, right? You're going to pocket more balls. You're going to get better position. So I called them the 272 plus 5. And this is the first one. This is called a 272 plus 1. Now understand, 272 is perfect speed, perfect stroke. Plus 1 is the first shot. This is the first shot in the series, so we call it plus one. In addition, it is only one stroke back to the center of the table. So this is a 272 plus one. I want to use perfect speed and perfect stroke on this shot. Here we are. Now that 272 plus one, in every rack of nine ball, every rack of eight ball, you will face that shot. So master it. <laughs> when uh, it's the money ball, say, this is not the money ball. This is just a 272 plus one. I shot thousands of them. I'm going to trust my stroke and put it right in the pocket because I have experience with that shot. You name the shot. Reduces the stress. Reduces the anxiety. It's a shot you know. Here is 272 plus two. When you cut a ball into the corner and you go one, two rails back to the center of the table, it's a 272 plus. Back to the center. Now I went a little further than, than the center of the table. Not much, just a little further than the center of the table. What was good about that shot was I was connected to diamonds. So if I want to play position, I need to make that shot and connect those diamonds. And you do that with perfect stroke. 
The 272 plus 3 is 3 rings. You'd like to connect this diamond. It's not easy. The only way you're going to connect this diamond is with a perfect stroke. But now, isn't that what we strive for? A perfect stroke? So what you need is a model that will give you perfect stroke. And this is it. The 272 plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We're going to shoot 272 plus 3 right now. Hit the diamond, coming back out across the center of the table. We'd like to develop a speed to land at the center of the table, but when we come across the center of the table, we have connected the diamonds, and we are okay. I'll shoot that one more time for you and really focus on ending up at the center of the table. Because you want to get the speed down, you want to get the shot down. Okay, so that's better. The 272 plus 4 is simply cut this ball back down into the corner five. You go over here and come to the center of the table. That's a 272 plus 4. Anytime you see a ball, as you cut backwards down into the corner, go one rail. 272 plus 4. Now the 272 plus 5, that's an ingenious one. I think that 272 plus 4 is really ingenious. But this one's ingenious because, look, I have a cup here. And whenever you're going to work on your draw stroke, this is a shot. Shoot five or six of these before you start working on your draw stroke which will be in one of the levels. Put this up there and put that cue ball right there in the center of the table. And use kind of a 272 sweet, smooth draw stroke. And right into the center of the table. You can also practice coming up here and you can practice a snapback coming over here. Those are the 272 strokes. And I want to give you this little three ball pattern. I want to challenge you to do this and to do it this way. You play the one, the seven, get to the center of the table. You play the eight, you get to the center of the table. You play the nine and get to the center of the table. So it's not, you know, a lot of players will shoot a pattern like this and they'll decide what they're going to do after they shoot the seven. Well, I'll shoot the seven and see what I get on the eight. Or I'll shoot the eight and see what I get on the nine. I'm going to play for a specific shot. That's the way we should design our game. I'm going to shoot the 7, come out here, so I can shoot the 8, and go like this, so I can shoot the 9, and go like this, to the center of the table. Uh, that's the way I'm going to shoot it. And I can shoot it over and over and over again, because I know what I want to do. Okay? So we're going to do this. All right, <laughs> I a little over, overcooked that nine a little bit. Uh, I, I want to be right here. That's where I want to be. But I succeeded in running off the balls, so I'm going to give you props for that. When you run off the balls, you're going to get credit uh, for running off the balls. That way, there's a method to my madness. Okay, seven, back to the center, eight, around, two rails to the center, nine, three rails to the center. You do that, and you're in control of your stroke and cue ball speed. I don't know if you can hear the thunder. <laughs> <laughs> 